pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. With that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.31 p.m. and take a quick roll call of attendance. Dylan? I'm here. Tally? Here. And I'm here, so we're three here, and Doug and Gaston are absent, but we do have a quorum, so we can go ahead. Um, all right, the next... Uh, order of business up is the public comment, and this is general public comment unrelated to anything on the agenda. So if there's anyone here for that, you can raise your hand by hitting the, the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. Little yellow hand. Is that there? Nope. Okay. Um, great. So let's move on to licenses. Section 3A, liquor license transfer applications. MGB1 LLC Mission Can to Mission Cantina Amherst Inc. doing business as Mission Cantina 45 West Street. Um, and is the manager here, Walter? Yes, he is. I just let him in. He should be able to talk. Okay. Oh, maybe let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Walter, can you are you able to talk? Hello. It looks like it looks like he's on mute. Hi, are you guys here? Yeah. Hi. Are you? Hi, Walter. Yes. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, welcome to the Board of License Commissioners. Um, would you like to introduce your transfer application? Yeah. So I'm uh, Walter Pacheco, and I'm um, in the process of uh, purchasing Mission Cantina in Amherst, and um, just looking for a liquor transfer. Okay. Um, at the town level to uh, be approved so they can set to the state level so we can go on with that transaction. Okay. Um, Steve, has everything been completed on this application? Yep, we've been back and forth a few times. The application is complete and ready to send off to the state once the board approves it. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Dylan and Hallie, when you looked over the materials, did you see anything you had questions about? Everything looked good to me. It looked good. Dylan, any any questions? I think everything looked all right to me. Steve, were there any concerns or? I didn't have any concerns. No, Walter mm. um, and his partner do run numerous other businesses, including Antonio's, which has liquor licenses in other towns. And Oh, great. Oh, right, right. They really are experienced okay. with that. All right. Great. Well, if there are no, did we lose Dylan? Oh, we might have, yeah. Plus, Dylan, I'll um. Can we we need him back? Yeah, I'll give him a quick call. Okay, thanks. Sorry, Walter. We just I think some kind of. It's all right. Or anything. Walter, are you going to be making any big changes to the menu? Or... No, no, everything's staying the same. Uh, I think what we're going to try to do is, uh, in the next uh, couple of months, uh, we'll probably try to expand some of the hours. Yeah. Uh, he's only working right now, uh, five shifts, uh, Wednesday through Sunday, four to nine. So we're just looking to maybe open up another day and a couple of extra, a couple of lunches. That's pretty much it. Maybe maybe add a couple items, uh, but that's in time. They do a good job there, so I'm not looking to really do anything crazy. That's great. Yeah, good. Sounds good. I, it used to be open for lunch, didn't it? Yeah, pre COVID, it was seven days. Yep, lunch, dinner. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and we will make we will, we're looking to in, in, improve the exterior of the property, and definitely invest some money and just giving it a little bit, a little more curb appeal. Right, right. Uh, my my vegan son was asking at, asking me if you guys are going to allow some customization so you can do things without cheese. Yeah, we, I, I've been hearing some feedback that they've made some changes after COVID that uh, they've just been 
uh, not accommodating so much. So yeah, we we're we're definitely gonna sit back and look at what those are and and definitely try to make some adjustments. You know, so. And um, Walter, just to confirm, the currently listed hours are Sunday, 12 p.m. to 1 a.m., Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. Does that sound good? Not looking to change those? No, no, that's more than enough. That's okay. Nope. Uh, Dylan is calling back. I am back. Can you hear me? Oh, there he is. Okay. Perfect. Sorry about that. Okay. So, Dylan, if you have, uh, did you have any questions or concerns about the the license transfer? Uh, I'm sorry, which one was that for? I read the license for which the, one the are we talking about right now? Oh, sorry, the mission can Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I had no questions about that one. That all seemed relatively straightforward to me. Okay, fantastic. So, if there are no other questions, is there a motion to approve the liquor license transfer application MGB1 LLC to Mission Cantina Amherst? DDF. So moved. So moved. Okay. Oh, thanks. So that Hallie will be the the motion and Dylan will be the second. second. Okay, great. If there's no further discussion, we'll take a vote. Uh, Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent and it is approved. So thanks so much for coming in, Walter. We appreciate it. Guys, thank you very much. Thank and you best all. Luck. Good Good luck. Thank you. Hope to see you guys. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so should we go to the liquor license transfer applications? And these, Steve sent a representative one for each application, for each type of application, right? And this is- The best ones we have- um, oh, there's Bill. Okay. Some of the, yep. Okay. So are we doing- Hi, Bill, are you- I'm yeah. sorry? Oh, hi, are you- Okay, you're here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you could hear me. Um, so yeah, so these are the um, the performance hall. Yeah, the Fine Arts Center um, Fine Arts 2024, Center. the fall events that take place in the Fine Arts Center or the um, Bacher Auditorium. Okay. So. And so Steve, we've got one from one each from the Fine Arts Center and from Boker, Boker right? Yeah, there's, they're pretty much spread out. I think there's 12 total and it's... Uh, probably 80 20 split between the fine art center and balker so okay oh yeah okay i see yeah. that and everything is the same as it has been in the past yeah yeah there's a concession stand um selling snacks and food at each performance as well as uh, a beer and wine bar if the performance is in balker and then a, a full liquor bar if it's in the fine art center okay great thank you yeah. um let's see are there any questions on these and if there are not, is there a motion to approve SST 24-39 through 50? So moved. Thanks, Hallie. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Um, if there are no further questions or discussion, we'll take a vote. Um, Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye, and that is three to zero with two absent, and the short-term liquor license applications are approved. Thank you so much for coming in, Bill. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Take care. See you, too. Bye. Okay, so now we have two lunch cart food truck license applications. Um, first one is Munchmore. Mm -hmm. yeah, is, is there someone here for that? There's someone here for both of these, yeah. Oh, for both of these? Okay. So should we just do them water to we'll do them water time? Yeah. Ahmed Ahmed. Hello. Hello. Oh hi. Welcome. Hi. You're hi. Ahmed? Ahmed? Yes, I'm Ahmed. Yeah. Okay, How are you? Great. Good. How are you? Thanks for coming yeah, I'm in. Great. Yeah, so this you. is a new lunch card application, and you yes. are going to be by Kendrick Park. Yeah, that's right. All right. Do you want to describe your your business a little bit? Of course. Uh, we are a halal food food truck. We are coming from New York, and um, our food truck is twenty feet uh, trailer. And um, we are coming to we interested to make a business in um, Amherst because it's very popular uh, place. And um, this is our food truck. Uh, we are family business. It's family based. Uh, me and my brother and my father-in-law. And uh, basically, we are going to apply like, um, um, we are going to 
make uh, chicken over rice um, and also burgers and um, chili fish stick. It's like a small menu, not a big, not a big one. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Yeah. And Steve, everything has been, uh, all the parts are in, completed on this application? Yes, I will say he did make an amendment to the application today. Originally, he was going to be, well, he, he was going to be personally licensed to be doing business as much more, but he um, has um, started in a corporation, so the license will be amended to be for much more ink instead of him individually. Oh, okay, great. All right. So just a kind of a technicality there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any questions about this? A question. Yes. What are uh, I, I? I don't know if I saw it on the form. Uh, hours of operation. They were eight a.m. to to two a.m. Was that what I saw? Is an yes. all day thing or? Yes. Yes. In the all day. Okay. But are, in you, the weekend, are you looking? I, in the huh? weekends, I will be operating from like uh, uh, from ten in the morning till mm -hmm. eight a.m. And weekdays, it will be till um, um, 12 midnight. Okay. Um, so are you, are you seeking the license just for the, the maximum number of hours, but you'll just be operating kind of yeah, within that, that's right. that flexibility? Yeah, okay. that's right. Uh, yeah, wonderful. Okay, great. Um, do you have can, you, yep. can you just clarify Parking? there on, on the weekends, um, Mr. Hassanin, you said uh, 8 or 10 a.m. to 8 a.m.? Um, uh, in the weekends, um, I'm going to like uh, put the car at in the eight in the morning. But to operate to um, actually operate, it will be like from uh, ten because I have um, like uh, give me uh, I'm giving myself like uh, a space a space of time to uh, prepare everything. Not to prepare like I can um, prepare the 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 parking, the the space around the the food truck. Hello. 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 Oh, yeah. And oh, do you? Uh, sorry, I got something got you know, flipped there. So wait, hello? this is. I, I think I'm not. I'm not really clear. So weekends, it's going to be what? So we, what are our standard hours? Weekends, Steve. Eight a.m. to eight p.m. every day is standard hours. Oh, eight a.m. to eight p.m. So you're doing ten to ten a.m. to eight p.m. Is that correct? Is that what you're saying? Yes. You've got two hours. Okay, so ten a.m. to eight p.m. Sorry, I just couldn't hear from the. I'm sorry. Maybe no, no, that. No, it's uh... not your call. It's coming through the something on my my laptop. No, um, that's okay. okay. All right. So does that, uh, that, that's, that sounds, that sounds like it lines up with our regulations. Um, any other questions? Does that sound good to you, Steve? Um, well, the regulations do say that you can, um, only be parked in the public way when you're operating. Um, so I mean, oh, presumably, I see. Right. presumably, you know, a short amount of time to prepare is acceptable, but um what amount of time is 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 the question you but you said you would be there till 2 a.m yes uh, okay oh, till 2 a.m okay so we're talking about like 10 until 2 roughly so you're going to park at 8 in the morning and yes then yes yes be, yes and then theoretically, yeah, uh, theoretically now is that you and then open up at 10 that's your idea yes open the door taking orders from 10 open the den at, at 10 and then operate until 2 in the morning so yeah. is that steve is that allowed like, do you, can you just, do you have some time? Is that, a, you said it has to be an operation while it is parked. Is that correct? Is that, so is that the law? I will read section nine of our regulations. Hours of operation shall be as approved by the board. Lunch carts, food trucks may not occupy approved locations outside the hours of operation, and they may not occupy the approved locations when they are not open and not operating. Okay. So. Okay. No, it's okay. I can, I can operate directly from eight in the morning. I okay. work and then operate directly. I'm okay. sorry for misunderstand. Okay. Um, does that does that satisfy everyone? Yep. Okay. Works for me. Okay. Sound okay, Steve? Yep. Okay. So just as long as you're operating while you're parked there, it shouldn't be a, a problem. Okay. If, are there any other questions about this? Uh, do you have a place? To put your trailer when you're not in operation, or where is that? Yes, be? I have. I have two places. One of them in Holyoke High Street, and second one in Atkins Farms. And I have a, a letter from them. And Wonderful. They have the approval. Yeah. Fantastic. Um. Great. Um. Okay. If there are no other questions, is there a motion to approve? 
So moved. Thank you, uh, Dylan. I mean, sorry, is there a second? Second. second. Any, any further discussion or questions? Hallie, Dylan, Steve? Nope. Nope. Okay, if not, let's take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. And the food truck license is approved. Thank you so much for coming in. And Thank we wish you the best of luck with your business. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you guys. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay. So next up is Only Kebab LLC. Can you is, him in? Is Only Kebab here? You oh, there we go. Him. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Welcome. Hello. Hello. So, would you uh, could you please introduce your business for us? Sure. My name is uh, David Bedretin Tokos. I am from Turkey. I have been United States for eight years. Mm -hmm. I have on uh, eighteen feet uh, food trailer. I will serve uh, Turkish and Mediterranean uh, food and mm -hmm. kebabs. Okay, great. And uh, Heli and Dylan, did you take a look at the liquor when you were going over it? Did you see anything, any questions you had questions about? Oh, may we ask what your hours of operation are going to be? Do you have, uh, um, what is your plan for that? Uh, uh, 11 a.m. Uh, to 2 a.m. 11 to 2. Thank and you. is that during the week or? Uh, yes okay A except monday except for monday okay fantastic um great steve is everything been approved is everything all the parts in on this license application yeah this application was complete okay wonderful hey or dylan do you have any questions no no uh, no I, uh, yeah the only question is um are you still seeking just just maximum hours the 8 a.m to 2 a.m. and to, to kind of have that flexibility or are you just specifically seeking those hours at 11 a.m. to 2 a.m.? Uh, it is it is uh, lunchtime. I will I want I want to serve lunchtime uh, dinner and late uh, dinner time. Okay. I guess I guess I'm a little more of a question for, for Steve then. I feel like we've asked this before and been over this, but we just don't get too many new food truck applications. But uh, we've in the past just granted the, the full range of hours and allowed applicants to kind of pick their schedule within that. Am I right, Steve? So by default, you get 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, if you get the license, that's just kind of baked in for every lunch cart food truck licensee. Um, after that, it is the additional hours that have to be specially requested. So in this case, his, his only special request is the 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. time. And that's on Fridays and Saturdays, or is that Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, or is that all days? I think it's every day except, every day except Monday. Isn't that right? Yes, Monday. Yeah, so you would Sunday to Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday through Sunday, basically. Okay. Um, does that clear up their question up, Dylan? Uh, yeah, I think so. So okay. I'm I'm fine to approve uh, that then. Okay, and Steve, that is kind of copacetic with all of our regulations. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Well, if there are no more questions, is there a motion to approve the lunch cart food truck license for Only Kebab LLC? So moved. And a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Um, if there's no further discussion, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. The license is approved. Thank you so much for coming in. And Thank best you. of luck with your business. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye bye. Um, okay. So that is that. And now we go on to discussion topics. Um, liquor license application supplement. So unfortunately I do not have a version of that for you today, but I will, I did get halfway there. So I will put that on the agenda again for next time. Okay, super, thanks Steve. And then moving on to, since we had 
new lunch carts and food trucks. Uh, Steve, do, is there an, do you have a, a quick update on the lunch cart food truck situation? Yeah, just thought it would be worth um, noting. We have had a tremendous amount of interest in these um, this year, more than any year before, certainly. Um, and um, I, um, yeah, it just might be worth thinking about how it all plays out. It seems like we'll have a lot more, and I, I do believe we will um, maybe consider doing the uh, closed off Prey Street again this fall. Okay. Oh, well, that's that great. Would, yeah, that would be really good. But we will uh, see how it plays out and if any tweaks are needed to our regulations with a little bit more more pressure under them. Right. So uh, with, these, with these two new applications and these people sound very enthusiastic and like they really want to be there from 8 a.m. until 2 in the morning. And um, so, and obviously it's first come, first serve and they know all about that. And um, there's going to be... Uh, we have the other food truck, like the New York, the one that's parked in front of the Coronation Cafe regularly. Yes. Yeah. So um, is there, and I know there was some question on the part of the first applicant about whether or not he could prepare for two hours before he opened up. And obviously that's not allowed. Um, is there a way, I mean, I don't want to like feel like we're breathing down anybody's neck, but um, just to make sure that we, someone, like we can keep an eye on that to make sure that everything is. Yeah. I mean, I can definitely check in with the parking enforcement team because they would be okay. handling that. Um, right. And they can, um, you know, make sure that, you know, they're paying the meter and they're for the right amount of time and, um, okay. and, or, or there are monthly, monthly payment options, but that would probably be the, uh, the best group to do so. So okay. I'll make sure to thinking... connect with them. Because I was thinking when we were talking about it, and I didn't bring this up, but if he's uh, like if they're preparing some food, I mean, they, when they're operating, they could just be selling bottles of soda or something like that, right? I mean, they don't. Yeah. Do they? They don't add necessarily yeah. be serving the full menu if it takes them a while to prepare. Yeah, I mean that be it might be another place to to maybe take a closer look at how the regulations work because obviously you know you're not going to pull up and slam it in park and immediately open the window there'd be there is you know some some period of preparation that might be reasonable but you know right. there's also too long of a period would be unreasonable so right okay um All right, definitely I just something to... to think about okay well maybe we can talk about that at some point soon um put that back on the discussion topic um all right well if there's nothing else on lunch carts and food trucks upcoming meetings and agendas and so we're scheduled for the next meeting. Do you have anything, um, any licenses planned for the 22nd? Not at this time. Okay, great. I am actually gonna be out of town that week. So I don't know if we wanna do, bump it forward to the 29th. Would that work for anybody? Can we just skip the 22nd? That works for me. Yeah, Dylan, are you okay with that? Uh, probably works for me, I can't. And two okay. Would that work, Steve? That that should be fine with me. Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. So if we do the 29th and then um I can't remember, you know, honestly, just because I can't remember what day UMass starts, but obviously students will be pouring in around that time because Labor Day is what the, the second of September. So um yeah. So uh, maybe we can have an in-person meeting then and just do a little more in-depth discussion of um, lunch carts and uh, liquor license application supplement and that sort of thing. Okay, any other ideas for upcoming meetings or agenda topics? I mean, we're kind of stalled on the other stuff for the time being. So, um, okay. Um, well, let's move on. Oh, oh, sorry. What was that, Dylan? Oh, no, I was just agreeing with you. Yeah, I think okay. we're, we're right. pretty good point right now. Okay, great. Thanks. So topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Anything? No? Okay. Um, great. So we can just, is there a uh, adjourn, I suppose? So is there a motion to adjourn? Oh, okay. I'll, well, I'll, 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 I'll,
no, no, no. Give me the second that Ms. Right, Steve Dylan, can right, copy the minutes that eat much easier. All right, Dylan is the second. We'll take a vote on adjourning. Helly. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent, and we're adjourned at 5.56 p.m. Thanks, everybody, for showing up, and I'll see you on the 29th. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Steve. Thank you all.